we have a rotating disc that's rotating with omega naught. Now this disc has a groove in which there is a particle at the edge of the disc and it's being pulled by this thread which is passing through the center. So as you will pull the thread, the particle will come nearer to the center of this disc. When it's come to the very center, we need to find out what's the angular velocity of the system and what is the work performed by this force F. Now one more thing is given that the body is slowly pulled, which means by the time this, this uh, ball has come nearer to the center, its velocity, ball's velocity is going to be zero. So it won't have any kinetic energy. And also, by the way, we, F is not given to us. He has mentioned the variable F, but uh, because it's an unknown, it's going to vary with time because you are slowly pulling it. So we have to get the answer without this variable term F. So let's uh, do the angular momentum conservation. And then from change in kinetic energy of this system and this system, we can find the work done by this force F. So the angular momentum conservation gives the initial, initial angular momentum is because of the disc and the mass both. So I of disc into omega naught plus I of mass M into omega naught. And final momentum because this ball has reached the center, the ball is not rotating anymore. So the angular momentum will be only due to the disc. That will be I of disc into omega. So let's do that. Conserve L about O as tension passes through it. Yeah, also this force will not we, we can contribute angular momentum because this tension force due to the thread which we are pulling with that passes through the axis. So that's why about the axis, the angular momentum does not change. So Li is equal to Lf. Initial angular momentum is I of disc into omega naught plus I of uh, ball into omega naught. Final I of disc into omega. So we get the value of omega, first part. Now second part. As discussed, velocity of ball is zero when it reaches O as thread is pulled slowly and only external work is due to F. So the change in kinetic energy is work done by the by work done on the system. So work done by this force is changing kinetic energy. So final kinetic energy is this half I disc into omega square minus half I1 plus I2 into omega naught square. I1 is of disc, I2 is of ball. So we put the value of omega from here and we solve it and this is the answer which we get. Alright.